All right. And we are live. What is up, everybody? So, welcome to the live stream, guys, which is being brought to you because of you. I like to a few people get in here. But right now it is 9.04. Eastern Time, November 12th. If you're not watching at 9.05 Eastern Time on November 12th, you're not watching live. So, what's up everybody? Good to see everybody. This was a live stream, guys, on a video last week. We made a like goal. The goal was that we've got X amount of views. Sorry, if we got X amount of likes on the video, then we do a live stream. And here we are. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking the video. And I appreciate all of you. Yeah, pineapple. I love pineapple. I just cut up a whole one. All right, what else am I getting into? Oh. I also cook some green beans. Which I'm excited to get into. Green beans, I like green beans. Oh, I'm gonna put them away for now. I'm sure Aaron will come on by. Aaron's a great guy, by the way. I very much appreciate him. Hello, everybody. We got people from I thought Sun, New Jersey, Jamaica. Um, yes, live stream started like a minute ago. Uh, green beans, cooking bacon fat. Now, just green beans. Um, California. Uh, so let's get some. I'm just eating, everybody. That's basically all I'm doing. I'm just finally getting around to eating. A little late, but uh. Eating some food. So I got some chicken legs. Um, so I'm gonna eat, get my food ready and all this stuff. And then once I'm like, you know, situated, not preoccupied, I'll better be able to answer everybody's questions. But I appreciate everybody tuning in. I saw people from Houston, Colorado, Canada. Um, somebody asked the hardest food challenge. So that's a very difficult question because there's many. There is, there's, there's like a lot that uh, have made me basically die. I think, believe it or not, one of the most recent ones, the most recent video of one that made me die was uh, the hardest pizza challenge video I just released about a week ago. That was a very hard pizza challenge. It was a very hard challenge. Uh, uh, the most recent very, very, very hard challenge that I released. However, the last very, 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 very hard challenge, which legit almost made me die, was actually a sandwich challenge I did um, in October in Virginia. And I legit basically died. Um, that video will be out in a long time, but eventually it will be out. Um, people saying, well, for everybody joining, I'm just getting some food, basically. What is this? This is chicken legs. I'm just ripping the skin off them. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be able to better, uh, pay attention to you all once I got my food on the go, more situated, you know what I'm saying? All better, better situated and prepared. I also have some pineapple here, had some green beans. Um, 
Uh, so you got Michigan, Arizona. I was just in Arizona uh, end of October. My first time, actually. It was really cool. I've never been before. It was in the Phoenix area. I would definitely like to go back. There's a lot of food challenges in and around Phoenix, like a surprising amount. Um, so I got to do a couple, and I would definitely hope to get back, excuse me, to do a few more. So like I said, everybody, I am just Middletown, New York. I'm not sure where that is. See Nova Scotia, Columbus, Ohio. Yes, I was in Columbus back in June. It has been a while. That's where that pizza video was from. Uh, like I said, everybody, I will sit down and we'll pay more attention to you guys here in a moment. I'm just a little preoccupied getting some food ready to eat. And we will be eating this chicken with some barbecue sauce, some spicy extra hot Valentina, and some Mad Dog 357. So I, I, like I said, everybody, I really like spicy foods and I like spices and hot sauce when I'm not doing challenges. Eating large, large quantities of food and spicy really doesn't agree with my body. And I mean, like, at a, at a certain level of heat anyway, no spice is going to agree with your body. Let's put it that way. Uh, but I will say while even like a ghost pepper hot sauce I can generally handle just fine the even just using a drop or two of the Mad Dog 357 which has like pepper extract in it is very, 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 very hot. It's very hot for me. I almost, I would say it's too hot. Um, Portland ketchup, no, I haven't. Uh, Houston, Texas. How come I didn't meet up with Beer Beats Food when it came to Canada? Um, I tried to. He had too full of a schedule, essentially. And then I, uh, then I left uh, to go to the States. Um, Pretty much a, a day or two into his visit. He was in Canada in September. But I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Maybe we'll be in Europe. I see we got. Damn, that'd be a snap cross pop. Love for Michigan. I'll be back in Michigan at some point here. Now the land border's open. forgot to so all that snap crackle popping which I thought was fine was actually messing up my microwave all right now we're cleaning the microwave with Joel um, well that's what I get for not paying attention all good in the hood oh this is hard to, I need to move all my food and sauces here Okay. Well, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh. Yeah, usually I'm not worried. Oh, somebody got a super chat. Thank you so much, whoever super chatted. I really appreciate you. It's not showing me who, but I can see that somebody super chatted. You rock. 
like I said, after I um, got my food all set up, I will pay more attention to you all. Just in the meantime, I'm trying to clean up my mess. At least a bit better. Not perfect. But definitely better than it was. Okay. Add one more. So I don't do it now. I'll likely forget to do it later. Okay. stuff good stuff now back to my chicken which I like chicken so what I'll be doing is probably like I don't know 60% that 95% of the extra hot Valentina of, um, 5% Mad Dog 357. Like I said, I'm good with like a ghost pepper hot sauce usually, but the 357 really is bordering um, too hot for me, even in like a couple drops. Uh, I find like with that stuff, a drop too much can really make a big difference. It's not just... Uh, it's not a whoopsie daisy. It's a, oh shoot. We got our friend from Miami. Her for a day, yeah, yeah. Um, we got Luther. What's up, Luther? My fellow. Well, I can't say fellow. I'm not a chili head. Luther is legit. A chili head. That guy eats some amazing stuff. Spicy. I have a one chip coming. I'm going to do a one chip challenge here soon. We got all kinds of awesome people in here. San Antonio, Ireland, Australia, Scotland. Mad Dog is all heat, no flavor. I totally agree. That's why I mix it. Not only because it's... Holy jump it. Super chat. Rin. Oh, yeah, from uh, Michigan, Bella. That is definitely something I hope you guys are able to come out. Like I said, I will be. Oh, Joseph, thank you as well. And thank you again to the lady who super chatted prior. He won't show me a name, but um, we will absolutely be back in Michigan at some point here. I'm going to be in Western New York sooner than later. Those are pretty much my next travel spots. I was just in Montreal, Quebec, Kingston, Ontario, and Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, last weekend slash the beginning of this week. Like I said, I'll pay you guys more attention when I sit down here. I'll do two big dabs of the Mad Dog, which is literally enough. Again, most hot sauces I drown stuff in. I can drown it in the Valentina, mix it up, get a nice sauce pot here with the barbecue sauce thing. But like I said, that Mad Dog ain't play games. It's that pepper extract, it, it, it ain't, it doesn't play. The extract does not play at all. I don't really know if I can position it so you guys can see it a little better, but there's a little tripod I'm using. I 
is kind of broken. We just get you like here. Maybe. Ish. Sure. Now you guys can't see my head. Uh, anyway, I'll show you what I'm doing. Chicken bag. So we'll rip it off. There's this little bone thing in there somewhere. Right here. But yeah, pretty much. I take my chicken and I dredge it in sauce, which is Mad Dog, Valentina, at 357. Or barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce and the Valentina add some flavor. And then the 357 is just freaking, it really is just basically pure heat. Um, I put it on. I will say though, that barbecue sauce is pretty mediocre, but you know what's better? Ketchup. I do have ketchup. I just, uh, I'm not into the ketchup. Can I, I'm trying to make this better. Anyway, um, have I tried the hot ones, hot sauces? Yeah, I've tried a couple. I tried the hottest one, um, which is basically like Reaper. And, uh, I didn't have like a lot of it. I said a little bit. Will I be hungry later? Is that enough food? Um, I'm just, this is like, I'm just starting eating. I also have a whole pineapple here, which is cut up. I have some green beans. I'll eat here once I've done this. For those of you who've been in here, for a little bit, you see me preparing all these items. Yeah, that's the way to do it, guys. See all that dredged sauce chicken? I'm all about that flavor. Here's have a cut in the side of my mouth, though. That doesn't feel good with the hot sauce in it. Thank you for joining everybody. All right. Now I can pay you a little bit more attention. A little bit more. But then more will come after I eat. So, what we got going on, guys? Yeah, I have not tried any tinctures. But Luther's tinctures, I are, I've seen firsthand, well, via video, Absolutely deadly. I would probably take one and put a couple drops in a bottle of like crystal hot sauce. Or then I have like an awesome fortified crystal hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce in general is my favorite. But It's better if you can make it extra hot because it's pretty mild by itself, but I love the flavor. I saw the question, what's the hottest thing I've ever eaten? Um, it would probably be either the Carolina Reaper Wing Challenge I did on my channel here uh, back a couple months ago. Cause I was using just like pure extract and, the, and they literally gave me coxic burns on my face. Oh, we got another super chat. Thank you so much. I won't touch my screen. Dirty. So you can find it. Um, Sergi Crow just joined the chat I'm from Idaho. There's some awesome food challenges. I've seen boys. Um, I hope to get to, I've never been to Idaho actually. 
I do update to uh, Iowa. And so I'll be like more in the area. I think that'd be uh, in next uh, April. So April 2022. So if you can't tell, a little bit of that heat is getting to me a bit. I hear it in my mouth and breathing. I just need a little more sauce. I also have some um, uh, ghost peppers. These are ground, like dried ghost peppers, which I put in a pepper grinder. It's a, another way to add heat without needing the sauce. So I'll throw a whole bunch of that on there. Cause like I said, that 357, uh, that mad dog is just mad hot. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying before that, but we definitely got some good heat on this. Ooh, tasty though. I, I like a, I like like a, a nice, a nice burn. It tastes good. And this is like what I normally do. This is just my kind of normal heat slash hot sauce situation. Licking the plate. Because I can't let that delicious spicy heat and sauce go away. Whew. A little hot though. Let's go warm up the green green. I pretty much ate all the green beans, but I'll warm up the rest anyway. Somebody said I have the same plates as you. We must be sisters. Um what else we got? Uh thank you so much for the support. Um, what's up, Jason? Allison? Same dish? We have, lots of us have the same dishes. Excuse me. So if you don't know the way I like to eat my green beans, have I ever used an air fryer? Yes, I have. It was okay. It was best for, um, uh, basically reheating, like, fried chicken. Um, the last dab hot sauce is hot. And somebody mentioned to DeBomb. I've never tried DeBomb, but I assume it's like at least as hot as that. Next spicy challenge. No clue. Or actually, I do know. Um, ooh, thank you, Matt Legg. Appreciate that. Um, it'll be uh, the one chip challenge. I have it upstairs. I'm going to do it. Not today. But at some point, I will be doing the one chip challenge. Here's my pineapple situation. So I got a whole pineapple here. Australia. Do you always eat large amounts of food for each meal? No, absolutely not. I just haven't eaten anything today. So I'm just finally getting around to eat. So what I do for my green beans, ground pepper. Sometimes recently I've been putting the ground ghost pepper on it. I just put some salt and sometimes I put some, um, I can't believe it's not butter. I tell you what though, they freaking got rid of the light version up here in Canada for some reason. So I know, I think you can still get it in the United States. So I am very jealous of everybody down there with it. Uh, now that like the borders back open when I cross, I don't have to fly. I will pick some up. New apartment or condo? Nope. Um, been 
been watching you for ages. Hope to see you around Illinois or Indiana soon. I would love to get back there. I was in both in June. Um, first time in either. Um, it was cool. Or sorry, I guess not first time in Indiana. That's a lie. But first time in Illinois. I saw Chicago, which is really cool. Went to Wisconsin for a day, which was pretty cool. Got to see uh, Milwaukee. Well, I'll be coming to Indianapolis lot next year. No question. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe. Indianapolis was a cool city. Um, I like the big statues. Like the, I think it's the land in Sea Memorial, it's called or whatever. Uh, my favorite food is animals. Um, I see fair, somebody said something like favorite food in Austin. Um, barbecue in general. We got Rhonda from PEI. What's up? My fellow Canadian. We got a couple other Canes here. Josh, this is when I come back to Detroit. Um, I would say, like, definitely in the next couple months. Like I said, now that the border is open, I will definitely be uh, crossing into um, Western New York here. Dean, thank you so much. Woo! Um, Western New York is in the works. That'll be before Christmas. I make it to Detroit. I just don't know, like... If I come to Detroit, um, I don't know if I'll actually be doing any eating. But I might fly out of the airport to go, like, to fly somewhere else. But eventually... I'll be back in Detroit, doing some eating. Um, workout. I do a push pull off. Um, or if I do the, or maybe the off, sometimes I'll cardio. And then How long do I go to the gym? Uh, probably, if I have all the time in the world, I'm not in a rush. Probably, um, I probably spend an hour and a half to two hours there, but like that includes some stretching and whatever. Steven, have a good night. Nice to see you in here, brother. Um, what's the knife pointing at, Crocodile Duddy? I'm eating some pineapple. Um, have a good night, Sandy. My hobbies, I go to the gym, I work, and I eat. Justin, what's up, Justin, man? Long time to see, man. Um, it has been a long time since we've crossed. We did a, me and Justin did a food challenge together. He said two years, so I guess it would be, uh, probably December of 2019. Um, that's a long, long, long time. But hope you've been well, man. I love pineapple. Absolutely love it. Um, married and a baby. Holy crap. Congratulations, man. That things have changed. Two years, a long time. Come to Cleveland again. I'm sure I will definitely get to Cleveland again. I just don't know when. Um, Sylvia, thank you for watching. Cliff, thank you. Salt and oranges, no. Um, North Carolina, I will get back there eventually. I got, I drove through it uh, a couple, like a month ago, but how about a few challenges in the province of Quebec? I was literally just there last week. Any food challenges coming up in the GTA? Um, I may have one in uh, Hamilton, actually. I was just in Montreal, 
Kingston, Ontario, and Ottawa, literally this past weekend. You guys need to follow the YouTube community tab and my Instagram for the travel updates. By the way, guys, some people have messaged me and asked about my Facebook because you're right. It's been almost a month since I posted on Facebook. I've been freaking blocked. Facebook has freaking blocked me. They're like, it's uh, I'm, I'm obviously trying to get it back, um, but I can't post for almost a month now um, because obviously like I was on a trip for however long. Hey, Aaron, we got world's greatest modern here. Aaron, my man, much love, brother. I hope you get to, down to see you again sometime soon. Anyway, Facebook just blocked me from posting because they're like, we need to prove, or like, we need to confirm, we can't confirm your geography because I was traveling for like four to six weeks. Like, or what do you think? Like my location. Um, anyway, so... I, it says it could take two weeks. It's now been much more. I've contacted Facebook. Um, I'm still trying to get it to work. Uh, talk, I, I finally got it to talk to somebody just this past week. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I haven't been able to post on Facebook. So I appreciate everybody still watching the videos, checking out on Facebook um, and all that stuff. I really hope to start being able to post again on there. I had, uh, you know, I had videos like I like a month worth of videos scheduled, which haven't been able to go. But yeah, anyway, hope to get back posting on Facebook. Um, but Instagram and the community tab has been good for them travels. We got Christian from the Philippines. How you doing? Turtle Mac from Canada. Joe from New Hampshire. Tobias, thanks so much, man. Like I said, I was just there in Montreal last weekend. I appreciate you checking me out. Much love. Well, this is a long time to see. Do I remember you? From PEI, where do we meet Rhonda? Or where did we cross? I know a couple Rondas, or I remember a couple Rondas from PEI. Uh, but from Missouri, Wisconsin, when I come back, uh, oh, lost the comment there. Um, got British Columbia. Daniel, I was just in Arizona at the end of October. Um, I was only there on uh, pretty much a day, but it was really cool. My first time in Phoenix. Liked it. Videos will be in a while. How do you get so much done? Caffeine for eight hours of sleep. Um, to be honest, I've been really slacking the last bit compared to normal, which sucks and I don't like. That makes me very uh, dissatisfied because I, I always like to do more. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I know I can do more. But I mean, I'll sit down and work a whole day. I don't, I don't mind. Um, under normal circumstances, before distractions and, and other commitments in my life, I, I easily work, I don't know, 60, 70 hours a week. And uh, I enjoy that. I mean, I still probably worked, I don't know. And I'm still, I'm still going back to, like, I'm still going to go work. You know, I love pineapple, but I will say it's going to have some toast. I find after I eat pineapple, my mouth is so, um, like it's the enzymes in it. It's so like messed up for a while. Have I been to Nova Scotia? Yes. I used to live in Nova Scotia. I've been there a number of times. Uh, maybe I'll just finish this pineapple. Japan. Hello. Yes, it, the enzymes in it. Literally, it's bromelain. Bromelain's literally eat your mouth. So the sides of my mouth are a little burning right now. Youngstown, Ohio. 
Where is Youngstown? Is that by New York? The New York side? Uh, San Diego, what's up, Chris? I was just down there a few weeks ago. But I didn't do any eating. The pineapple is sweet, of course, with the pineapple. The bottom is always the sweetest. If you can see, it's the most yellow. Oh, Chris, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Chicago. Ooh. Pineapple at the bottom is most sweet. It's the yellowest. The top is the most white. It's the least sweet because they ripen from the bottom up. So always eat the top of your pineapple down. So I'm taking a slice here, slice here, slice here, slice here, slice here. Because that way, strategically, you get the best taste. Because if you go the other way, it seems flavorless. Yes, I made the Akron, Cleveland. Oh, David. What's up, David? Thanks for the description there. Pennsylvania. Yes, I've been to Pennsylvania a number of times. I got to check out Philadelphia. In October, with my good friend, Mr. Aaron. I've been to Pittsburgh before. I'm going to eat there again. Am I going to do some eating in Vancouver? Mm -hmm. I've done a lot more. I've done some before. I, Chris, I disagree. I'm more of a raw pineapple person. I don't like it as I like it much more than cooked pineapple. I like both. Woo, man. Baby, thank you so much. But I prefer a raw pineapple to a cooked pineapple. Any day of the week. All right. That's fine for now. Drew, thank you so much. Woo! Danielle, thank you so much. Much love to Drew. Much love to Danielle. Love you both. And somebody sent a thing before. Tabitha Hickman, thank you so much. Hey, is that lemon squeeze? Hold on. It looks like lemon squeeze, but I may see in uh, Adventure Time. Joey, thank you so much. Woo! Newbury, Ontario. Have I done any schnitzel challenges? Um, I have done challenges with schnitzel in them. But it, I would arguably not call it a dedicated schnitzel challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if anybody knows, knows lemon squeeze... Um, from Adventure Time, <clears throat> or even if you don't, the uh, the the main whatever, like his thing is, he freaks out and screams a lot. So he'd be like, Aah! and he's the one I love is uh, unacceptable. If you don't know what I mean, look up Lemon Squeeze Adventure Time on YouTube, and uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, all right, I'm gonna go pee. I'm going to assume you guys don't want to do that. Ooh, popcorn's good, too. I like popcorn. I'm going to have some oatmeal, too. Um, so I'll come put you over here by the workstation. And then when we're coming back to Australia, I've never been to Australia. But I do hope to get there. Um, probably, well, I mean, at some point, Dean, woo, thank you so much. What is your regular job as you indicate it? Uh, right now, I've been doing f YouTube full-time for about a year. Um, prior, I also worked 40 hours a week and did YouTube, but that was one of the YouTube was a little less serious. Um, Kevin, no worries. appreciate you. I didn't actually try any pork roll. Um, I just can't get over eating 43 tacos in five minutes. Thank you, Pee Wee. I appreciate the support. Um, I tell you what, though, they were great. I mean, obviously, they were the smaller, like, Mexican-style street tacos, of course. But, man, they were good. I love that, like, El Pastor. It was uh, very, very delicious. I love that kind of food. Um, 
And I, speaking of which, I am definitely gonna go back to visit my um, favorite restaurant in one of my, uh, definitely well, my favorite, yeah, like one of my favorite restaurants in Ontario, um, which is Taco Embassy. And I'm, they have an all you can eat tacos on Tuesday, which I'm going to try out one day. Super excited, super excited to try. Plans for December in regards to food challenges. Yeah, I'm gonna get to Western New York and uh, maybe down to Pittsburgh, but Western New York and then, um, yeah, West New York, maybe Pittsburgh. <clears throat> and then January, I hope to probably get to like California or something. Um, I wanna get to like Mexico or somewhere warm for a little bit um, at some point in the next bit. So I'm not really sure where that's gonna take me. Um, so yeah. Um, I have not been to New Mexico to eat. I've driven through it. Um, Philly, I was just in Philly like less than a month ago. Um, yeah, Arizona is warm. You know, the funny thing with Arizona, because I, I really looked at it. I looked at coming back to Phoenix, specifically Meza. Um, but man, rental cars, for whatever reason, in December, well, I guess, May, like, but like, not even like Christmas, were so expensive. So, ex like, absurdly expensive. It was like something like 600 bucks for a week I looked at, which to me is a lot, you know? Um, so yeah, that was kind of whatever. Black Wolf, woo! Um, have you ever been to Pittsburgh? Yes, I have. I But I have not had the um, Permati, per Permini, whatever it was, uh, Brothers Sandwiches yet. Last time I was there, I was gonna try one. Um, I would like to try that next time uh, because they, it's a legendary sandwich there. Um, but I would like to try them. I will be, like I said, I might be back to Pittsburgh before Christmas. But I'm definitely getting to Western New York. And, um, yeah, I don't know. If anybody's in Arizona and uh, Mesa, Meza, Mesa, Mesa? It's not Meza? Okay, Mesa. Um, oh, we are on a 20% battery. Um I'm assuming you guys are still watching. Are we still live? We're still good? Yeah, we are. Um, if anybody is in um, the Mesa or Phoenix area and potentially would want to help out with a trip, um, whether it be hosting or I don't know what, it, you know, whatever, or even just uh, tips, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram and or on Facebook. I still get the messages on Facebook. I just can't post and or an email and uh, we can get in touch because always uh, having your guys' support, your recommendations definitely help trips um, happen and they also help me be able to better, you know, see things, encapsulate things. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, Garrett got me. Well, thank you, my friend. Like I said, anybody serious, uh, shoot. If you come to Fort Worth, I can hook you up with a rental car. Dylan, how serious are you with that? Because, man, I love Texas. Any excuse to get back to Texas. I am always, always, always there. Um, when we come to Western New York, will you have time to blow up a tree or two? Absolutely, David. Um, you can, uh, you and your all can eat buckets are really cool. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, David, I hope to get back to Western New York here before, I'm, no, I, I am getting back to Western New York before Christmas. Um, not sure where in Western New York exactly, but I will be back in Western New York between Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse before Christmas. Still in contact with Blaine. Yeah, I just saw Blaine a couple weeks ago. Great guy. Um, come to Australia, so I would love to. I am going to go pee now, though. It's been a while. So everybody keep each other company for Barry. I work for a company called Go Rentals. Um, Dylan, shoot me a message. Seriously, uh, if, like, if that's serious, I'll look, uh, we can make it happen. Um, yes, thank you, Dylan. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, but I was in Fort Worth. We have a giant Fort Worth challenge I did in Fort Worth coming up at some point soon. Um, we also have our good friend Oscar, who uh, his mother... So Oscar's a really a great guy. He's been at a couple of my challenges in in, in Fort Worth. 
Um, he and his family have been insisting I come for um, a meal. And his mother wants to cook me a big, like, spread, like, authentic Mexican. So that sounds really cool. But, yeah, I love Dallas. I, like, I, I went to a place in Dallas called Upper Room. Uh, Freaking loved it. Love to get back to Texas and uh, all that good stuff. Um, somebody said what I think of Leah. She's a really cool lady. Really nice. Um, found me through Beard. Thank you so much. Beard is a great guy as well, Adam. But like I said, I'm going to go pee. Keep each other company. I will be back in just a moment. Oh, Jammy, Jamie Miller. Uh, Mesa Chandler Cheddars is good. Chandler Cheddars, is that what he said? I am in Chandler. Cheddar's, okay, it, Cheddar's is good. I'm not sure where Chandler is. Fill me in when I get back. All right, where are we at? Welcome back, everybody. Hey, Casey. Um, I'm back. I just went to pee. Apparently, there's a spider. Could be. I don't mind spiders. I'm okay with spiders. If you said a mosquito, I'd be more bothered. Um, yeah, anyway, like I said, I, I, people ask me about work. I have some more work to be done. I have a video to finish up and edit. Oh, yeah. I was going to... Buy a flight home for Christmas too. I forgot about that. I need to. I need to look at that here in a second. Man, I got the pineapple all around my mouth. Burning, burning, burning. I've been eating uh, like a whole pineapple for like three, three, four days in a row, and it just eats the skin on you, man. It's I love it. I absolutely love it, but man, it eats the skin on you. Um, that one flight freaking went up! Already? Come on! Uh, I don't know, I still might do it. All good. That's why I was... Well, I need to book it tonight, though. I'm definitely going to book it tonight. Um, I guess I should have did it earlier. Oh, well, I'm, I was, I'm just trying to decide dates. I'm trying to decide when I want to go visit my parents for Christmas. If I want to go longer or shorter. That tight, ah, that went up too? Come on, man. Oh, well, not a big deal. Um, yes, pineapple legit does eat you alive. Like I said, the bromelain, the protease, the enzyme in it literally eats you up. Um, and breaks down your skin, which is what I'm experiencing in and around the mouth. Uh, anyway, so I need to do that sooner or later. Dang nabbit. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm not surprised it went up, but... 
That went up too. Freaking heck. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. All good in the hood. <laughs> um, dang it, though. Well, that's what I get for thinking on it and waiting. What does this total come to now? Then? Let me see. You guys are watching me. You're in a play-by-play -play of Joel being surprised by prices. So it's fifty dollars versus seventy now. All right, um, I'm back, guys. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. I was there. Um, man, I was young when I was there. I was like there when I was like twelve, maybe thirteen. Um, I agree, Aaron, with the exception of um, like an hour. Well, you know, an hour or two ago they were cheaper. The only thing is, so the airline, it's uh, the airline added new f routes around Christmas, so those flights were cheaper. So they're still significantly cheaper than all the other flights, but they like just added them up. I think today, so they were cheaper. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna hop. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy regardless because it's much cheaper. Um, compared to what I was looking at, um, Dean, woo! oh, thanks Dean. That's, that's super kind to you guys. That's very appreciative. That's overly kind. Um, I have some cabbage I'm probably going to bust into and I do want to have some toast, but like I said, my mouth is still, um, uh, you should do come to Bear Ontario, do the, uh, brew house challenge. I did that in Vancouver. I actually doubled it. Um, so I, I could do it in, in Barry as well, um, but I've already done it. Um, do a Canadian series like beer did. Uh, yes, Mr. Canuck. So I just did challenges in Quebec, in Montreal, Kingston, Ontario, and Ottawa this past weekend. Tom, woo, holy crap. Tom, thank you so much. Guys, you guys are very generous. You guys really, like, I appreciate you guys. You guys, you guys don't have to do that. You guys freaking rock, like. Seriously, guys, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, we got Loretta, letter, our friend, Loretta, our friend from Chicago. Um, any bags of broccoli to steam? No, I don't. I had the, uh, I had the, uh, had some uh, green beans earlier. Um, had some cabbage. Um, when is Canada going to drop the PCR requirement? Probably like never. It's going to be a long time, which is bull crap. But you can just go get one done at uh, Walgreens or CVS for free. I've uh, been to Denver, so I, w I had a layover in Denver. Our good friend uh, Joe uh, showed me around, which is awesome. I didn't get to do an eating challenge, though. Um, yeah. Probably I'll go with the cabbage, I guess, now. Normally, again, I want, I want something else, but, man, my mouth is still shot from that pineapple. Um, if not, I'm going to do oats. I want some toast. Probably have some oat meal as well um uh wish list joel and jeff esper you know i have been trying to specifically do a video with jeff now for legit over two years two and a half years so trust me i'd love for it to happen and hopefully one day it will can i get you a case of pines ketchup for christmas that would be the funniest thing ever. And I would laugh. I'm not gonna say no, but that would be hilarious. I do love ketchup. Uh, really, I still need to get a freaking sponsor deal. I tell you that much. I need to get a freaking sponsor deal. Um, Oklahoma City, what's up? OKC, been a long time since I've been there. I like Oklahoma. Here we have a cabbage. I'm about to cut a cabbage. Um, Worst tasting challenge I've ever done. One of them was that recent pizza challenge. Holy freaking God. To help cover some of the Costco of Michigan or use at home. Rin, holy crap. Jeez Louise, guys. Thank you. Holy crap. Damn. Like, thank you. Holy crap, man. I am, I am speechless. Wow. Thank you, guys. Seriously, thank you. Holy crap. Damn. Yeah, yeah, YouTube does take a cut. Um, 
Wow. Thank you guys. That's super kind of you. Um, if you guys want to, yeah, uh, if you guys want to uh, use the PayPal, my link is just down in the, the description below. But wow. Thank you guys. That is crazy. Thank you so much. Um, Rin, I know you're in Michigan. You probably told me before. How far are you from like the Detroit area? Because that's probably where I'd come back first. Be like Detroit. Yeah, like Detroit-ish area. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Drew says you have a question. What's up, Drew? But wow, seriously, thank you so much, everybody. That's crazy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, guys. That is... Wow. Can I please eat with Adam Richman? I would love to eat with Adam Richman. Hi from Saskatoon. What's up? Been a long time since I've been Saskatoon. It was our last summer. Whew. I'm going to eat something now. I'm going to get some cabbage. I had some chicken and, and uh, uh, pineapple earlier. Um, yeah, it is Christmas. How am I going to make the cabbage? I'm literally just going to cut it up and put some dressing on it. Eat it like, like coleslaw, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's cold here too, guys. It's, uh, the last couple days have been kind of like rainy. So it's been probably in like the high 40s, maybe, maybe, maybe low 50s, but high 40s. But before that, it was like below freezing, so below... 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah. Raw cabbage, yeah, basically coleslaw. Um, cabbage soup. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't be against it, but not right now. I'm not making cabbage soup. Like I said, guys, I think the biggest thing which I always tell people, but maybe people don't understand, is I don't eat like I do on food challenges at all. At all. Guys, I eat like, I mean, I don't like to use this term, but just for simplicity's sake, I eat very healthy outside of like off, off camera. I don't eat like that at all. I don't even like, I don't, I don't have any, I don't splurge at all. I don't, uh. Yeah, like, I don't eat, I don't eat, in my opinion, outstanding amounts of food. I still eat a lot compared to the average individual, but a lot of it's, like, because I eat, like, a whole pineapple, green beans, some raw cabbage, which people, you know, were kind of shocked by. Fried cabbage. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I've ever had, I've had, I, yeah, I guess I've had, like, like, pan-fried cabbage, which was, like, you had that in Kentucky, I think, like, in the south. I've never had, like, deep-fried cabbage, if that's what you mean. Uh, fried cabbage with bacon, bitch. I mean, that'd be great. Not sure we... Are we still friends? Can you please visit Perryburg? I want a picture of us. Perrysburg. But yeah, everybody, we're still friends. I don't know. Um, I'm friends with everybody. Why not, Drew? Um, Perrysburg. Where's Perrysburg? It's Ohio? Oops. I just spit. Oops. Cabbage rolls. I ate cabbage rolls not long ago. They're really good. Um, oil soy sauce, onions, garlic. Uh, Georgia. I was just in Georgia. At the, uh, when was that? Beginning of October, end of September? This is my dressing to dress my cabbage today. My favorite, one of my favorite dressings. Calorie wise, Kraft Creamy Poppy Seed. Um, Yakima, Washington. I would like, here, I'll eat it like this for you guys to watch me. I'm just gonna cross it, but there you go. Mm. I would like to get back to Yakima. Yakima was really cool. It was funny being in and around Seattle and it was like green. <laughs> and then I drove into Yakima and it was a desert. 
South Carolina, yes, I was just there in October. Have you done any food challenges in Atlanta? Yes, I have. Um, Idaho, do I like sea grapes? I'm not sure what that is. It is 10.05 p.m. We are, uh, Eastern is one hour ahead of Central. I make rock capital tasty. David, I'm glad you're getting paid to watch this. How old am I, guys? I'm too old. I'm too old. Go, oh, Perrysburg, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in Perrysburg. I drove by Toledo. I did the, uh... I did the lovely hot dog challenge there. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... Um... Oh man, it's something like utter. Slip my mind. I am in Ontario right now. Can I come back and visit? Sure, at some point. Got a bird in the house. Got cucumbers, if I had any. I like cucumbers. Food trade alert, Ontario. Not quite. Hopefully not. I'll tell you though, guys, the way things are going, I mean, there's been, like, shortages of everything. It's shocking. Crazy. 12 in the afternoon in Japan. Yeah, you guys have such a different schedule. Like, the time changes are so crazy. Well, hey, SMW man, I appreciate that. Hope it helps. Mm. All right. So... Let's see what we're doing here. So we're still live stream, which is awesome. I wouldn't mind, uh, I need to book that flight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I wanna finish editing this video. Um, have you ever tried cucumbers with fresh lime juice? Um, you know, I don't think I have. I mean, like, does like kind of like a mojito, I don't know, like drinkish count, like no, but no, I don't think I've ever had. Ouch! Oh man, woo! My pineapple really ate the size of my mouth. I was thinking of doing a restaurant challenge in Ottawa or Montreal. Um, there's the pizza spano. What do I think of shady maple? So shady maple is apparently the biggest buffet in, I think, America. And that's like, not necessarily by food items, but by like square footage. Um, me and my friend Aaron went, Aaron, the world's greatest moderator. Shout out to Aaron. Um, we, it, we tell you, it was crazy busy, guys. What is it, baby? Mm. 
Ooh, the sides of my mouth are so ripped up from that pineapple. Mm. Um, long story short, I like Shady Maple. I'm not sure if part of the issue is when we went, but it was... It was good, it was solid, but I would like to give it another chance before I make any strong statements or final verdicts. But impressive plays. And not bad. Rain is two hours from Detroit. Okay. What way? Like Battle Creek? South? Talia? North? Flint? Um, the most food by poundage I've ever eaten technically is like 20 pounds of ice cream, but it's ice cream, so it sits different. Yes, the Jell-O Bar Challenge is in queue. It'll be out. Mm. Maybe the end of this month. Otherwise, um, December. The New York ones will be right after it. So we are officially in the videos from the new trip. What's up, Chab? Do you ever get sick after you win? Like the next day? Um, I mean, what, uh, I guess the best way I could answer is like one, a cut one time I got food poisoning. Does that count? Happened now, I am eating cabbage. with salad dressing. Basically like coleslaw. If it makes the hottest food. I'm not sure. Randy's doing well. He's uh, busy doing his internship. I know he has some um, challenges coming up at some point. He's getting back on the road here. Well, I got the worst food poisoning. after eating raw chicken wings yes trust me it wasn't smart but i was near the end of the challenge and the restaurant started live streaming and the wings were like that they just gave me because like a record were, were raw and at the time i was like i don't really want to say something in black restaurant but I was legit sick for like a whole week plus. And I'm talking like nausea, diarrhea, and um, it ruined the trip. It literally, like, I shouldn't say ruined the trip, but like I was so messed up. Like, yeah, like I, I could barely eat anything. It just was not optimal at all. Long story short, guys, 
Don't eat raw chicken under any circumstances. What do I do when I'm not eating, eating food challenges? I'm in the gym. I'm working at home. Editing and stuff. Posting videos. I'm planning future trips. Majestic says, how many places try and cheat you? Um, I mean, I wouldn't want to, like, say a lot of places try to cheat, per se. But, like, because sometimes people, mm, like, sometimes it's, it's, it's innocent. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes, you know, it, it's supposed to be a pound of fries. But they just have some guy in the kitchen who doesn't know any better. They just know it's a big burger or whatever, and you end up with way more. Sometimes restaurants also, for some reason, think that because there's like a camera there or whatever, they should make it bigger. And it's like, no, just make it how it's supposed to be. So, there's those times, which I don't consider cheating, but unfortunately you still end up with not what you're supposed to. And then there's times where people are like, either this guy seems confident or screw this guy, we don't want to give away food. And, uh, that unfortunately happens. A Costco half sheet cake. I don't know, that sounds interesting. The question was, how many food challenge wins do I have? I need to add them back up, but I need to add them back up. Um, I need to add them up, but it would be uh, um, probably like 360, something like that. By the way, guys, my I just got a 10% battery notification on my phone, which is what I'm stream, uh, live on, which is not great, so... I need to plug this in somehow. Mm. It doesn't even tell me the percentage I'm at. Come on. All right, so legit, but my like legit won't even tell me. It won't even tell me what percent battery we're at. Um. This is gonna be not great. Cause like. The cord is not going to reach the wall. Let me see. Uh, how can I do this? Push ups before bed. Why would I do some push-ups before bed? Um, hmm. uh, Drew says you have another question. Feel free to ask any questions. Please come to LA. Do you mean Louisiana or Los Angeles? Sorry for the angle, everybody, but if we want to keep on the live... Gotta be. Explain Molly Skyler. Um, Molly is literally born to eat. Uh, ever since she was little, she had some real eating abilities. 
Um, she decided to train those abilities. Making her legit one of the very best eaters in the world. If you guys want to do what I'm doing, I'm picking some background music for a video. Um, you guys are watching the day in the life of Joel. I tell you guys, I, I'm, I'm not trying to whatever, but this cabbage with that poppy seed dressing... It's pretty dang good. It's pretty dang good. I don't like this angle. I don't blame you. Um, but my cord will not reach the table. Maybe if I, uh, here, hold on. Maybe if I try to move the table. This is just becoming problematic. How's that? Better? Well, that's, I'm assuming better. Okay. Um, yeah. You guys want me to describe the cabbage? Mm. So the poppy seed dressing. Adds a really creamy aspect, great mouthfeel of the sweetness, the acidity coming from it. That cabbage just gives such a nice crunch. Where the, with that little bit of like that bitterness, just keeps it really like invigorating with each bite. Mm. I approve. But I always lived in Canada, yes. Thank you, Jeanette. I appreciate that. I definitely hope to get to Missouri at some point. I've never been. And yes, I would like to. Man, my mouth is so ripped up. Odessa. My stomach after Chinese food, food chains, that was good. Um... When I was in Texas last, and by the way, I always lick my plates. Always, always. Num, num, num. Except like if I'm actually in like public, you know. Yeah, poppy seed dressing is legit one of my favorites. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a little sweet, a little creamy. It doesn't, like poppy seed doesn't have a taste, so you know, it's just kind of like a made-up taste, but it is really good. Um, I was eating cabbage before I ate chicken, before I ate pineapple. Have I ever gotten food challenge from a poison? Yes. Or from a challenge? Yes. Visiting a temple. What kind of temple? Have I ever tried being vegetarian? No. I am technically in public, you're right, but you know what I'm saying. Do you only eat once in regular days? Nah. Like... I just eat. I, I personally, by no means do I recommend this, guys. And unfortunately, like, my body is still basically on Pacific time. I was on Pacific time before I came here. Or like, before I came back. And I haven't gotten adjusted yet. But, like, yes, tonight I didn't eat. Start eating until real late. But it's just, like, after I do work, after I go to the gym, you know, I eat when I want. I don't uh, only eat once a day. Eat whatever I want, whatever do, you know, whatever. So. Yeah. Uh, I 
All right, what do we got going on? Do I ever skip leg day? I have not been able to actually legit train legs in five years since I destroyed my knee. So while I still try to do something for my legs, I haven't had a legit leg day in like five years. Um, let's see. Did I eat my cat? Let's just say the cat is no more. No, I didn't eat the cat. Um, how to destroy my knee. So I tweaked it in the gym and then I stressed it more and then I slipped on ice. And when I slipped on ice, my leg hyperextended. I tore my uh, patellar tendon. Unfortunately, with our not great healthcare system in Canada, despite people's thinking, I was told it was fine. That was not the case after it was problematic for a long duration. I finally got like ultrasounds and uh, imaging. And, and anyway, it was, it was like, there was obviously, there was a very large partial tear when it tore. Um, I actually like my quad uh, like shut off, like the nerves shut off in the area. Um, so I couldn't even walk on it it took like a couple weeks of like physio to even like walk on it um and from there there's a great big tendinopathy in it and so pretty much um it's not even pain it's not even pain that bothers me but if i will if i stress it it will um basically get so i guess inflamed or in like yeah i guess inflamed is the right word that like, I won't be able to walk again. So I don't know if it's specifically that it causes such nerve, um, whatever in the area, but like, obviously if I stress it, yes, there will be pain associated with it, but like I can do it to the point where I can't walk. So basically I can't, I can't train legs as much as I would love to. Um, do I, do I vote for Trudeau? Absolutely not. Uh... What would you like to try as a food challenge? I'm not sure. Do I enjoy hockey night in Canada? No, nah, I don't really like hockey. Um, like I don't watch. The only only way I'd watch hockey is if I was at a game. I don't know if you heard all the food. It looks absolutely amazing. We have so many different items in front of us here. Um, so we have a uh, walnut shrimp. You guys get a sneak Actually, peek. I'll walk you through it. So do I do OMAD? Is that one meal a day or something? No. Um, yeah, no worries. I appreciate it, everybody. Um, yes, yeah, Scott Eats is good. I got to see Scott not too long ago. Um, I obviously missed some questions. 20-pound mac and cheese challenge. I will not do a 20-pound mac and cheese challenge. I wouldn't be able to finish it, and I don't like mac and cheese. Walnut shrimp. Yes, walnut shrimp. So good. So good. This is what we got. We got the complete order all right there. But... It is a, uh, we got the uh, Shaolin Bao, which is a pork soup dumpling. That's what they're very, very famous for. I think we have the walnut shrimp, which looks absolutely fantastic. This, like, looks so, so good. We have the famous green beans. We have spicy dumplings. This video is from Houston. Um, good night, my friend. Uh, Jeremy, thank you so much. Rock, thank you so much. Randy Santel versus me. Uh, he's a great guy. Never a versus. Always a collab. Um... I use Sony Vegas. Have you ever got kicked out of a buffet? I've gotten kicked out of All You Can Eats twice. Um, all You Can Eat Brazilian Barbecue. I've done that a couple times. I have two videos on my two on my channel of that, which I, I enjoy the Radizio. I, no, I have three, three videos on there. But yeah, the Radizios, uh, et cetera, are awesome. Um, thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate that. Um, bag for money. I don't think I bag for money, but... I appreciate uh, I appreciate your concern. Um, be fun to do challenges of the early December when your birthday is. David, what's uh, keep uh, keep in touch when I get something uh, something going. When what day's your birthday? A golden crowd video. I will give you a golden crowd video. Maybe Monday. How's that? Tabitha, woo! Thank you so much. Again, it looks like lemon squeeze. 
I'm trying, I'll show you guys, for those who are not familiar with Lemon Squeeze from Adventure Time, not that you probably want to be familiar with Adventure, uh, with Lemon Squeeze, but I think it's pretty funny. This is Lemon Squeeze. Announcing the arrival of the Earl of Lemon Grab. Right here. This castle is in unacceptable condition. Unacceptable. There you go. He looks a lot like that. That 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 uh, that lemon. <laughs> oh, Adventure Time. I haven't watched that in a long time. They'd be picking duck with the skin, and then they give you what they call the second course, which is like all the meat on it as well. With uh... all right, I think that's fine. I will watch that through, obviously, a bit more. Let's find some intro tracks. Uh... I'm not really sure. Somebody's trying to spell something letter by letter. I'm not sure what it's about. Tabitha, good night. I appreciate you. How does your body hold up to these challenges? Um, sometimes it, it really, honestly, not well sometimes. Um, sometimes it's great. And sometimes I feel so beat up after something. Um, it, you know, generally it's okay. But sometimes it gets not great, uh, you know, to be honest. And it kind of wears on you a bit. Um, I've had a number of injuries, which is, are like, are, often kind of just re-irritate it by um, eating, per se. Um, so, yeah. Colombia, South America. I'd love to come to Colombia. Um, dessert pizza, yeah. Um, when it comes to um, treats of pizzas, has anybody ever had a Dairy Queen treats of pizza? Because um, that's like one of my favorite things. But yes, otherwise, normal dessert pizzas. I've definitely had normal dessert pizzas, and I do like them quite a bit. Uh, what else we got going on here? Um, no, I appreciate you, Aaron. <laughs> Bitcoin is a scam. We got some. We had some. We had some funny people in here tonight. Um, it's all right. I don't mind it. Um, what is it like meeting beard meets food? Uh, Adam's Adam's a pretty cool guy. Um, he's yeah. No, Adam's a cool guy. Um, Gilligan's in Scottsdale. Um, yeah. So I was in the area. I just didn't have time to go to Gilligan's. But yeah, they have like th three, four, at least two food challenges. Um, which is pretty impressive for one location. From my understanding, I, I heard like maybe you can't actually do them all, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, nonetheless. Um, Sunday, December 5th. Well, happy birthday, David. I appreciate that. I have never been to China, Taiwan, or that far east. I've never, um, with the exception of Brazil, uh, and or Mexico, I've never been to North America, or outside of North America. Um, the Okanagan, like BC, I've been there a number of times, my friend. Uh, I've been to Penticton, um, driven by it. I've been like th through Kelowna and that area. So that would be like kind of close to that area. That one works. Um, thank you so much for the support, everybody. Oh, here we go. Now we're back. I'm not sure if I was frozen there or not, but it kind of locked up on me. Um, keep missing me coming to Michigan. Hey, I hope you're able to come on out. Definitely hope you're able to come on out. Uh, thank you so much. Um, frozen for a minute. Okay, so it froze for you guys too. I've been to England, Scotland, Ireland. No, I've never been to Europe, but I would like to. <clears throat> um, that may, may happen next year, hopefully. Um, that would be a hope at least because 
I'd love to get to Europe. Like I said, never been. I'm sure it'd be cool. Sure it would be cool. And if I get over there, like everybody says, you like go see a whole bunch of, um, you know, different places because it's easy to travel apparently country to country in Europe. want to hear the intro to this video tell about what we're doing we are in Houston Texas eating at a very very popular restaurant which was absolutely delicious thoroughly enjoyed it thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it Yeah, Aaron, I want to thank you for being in here, I will say, because, um, yeah, there, you're right. Somebody does have a lot of time and a lot of email addresses. Come back to Dallas. I hope to. Hey, we got a, a, maybe a hookup in, uh, in Fort Worth, so maybe we'll be back sooner and later. Um, I love you, too. Thank you so much. Um, Aaron is the almighty mod. He is awesome. Come back to Louisville. Um, I would like to. I really liked Kentucky. I need to go see Mammoth Cave. Um, I am 5'11". Come to Calgary. Uh, I was in Calgary August of 2020. Um, be back eventually. Oh, Kyle, what's up, man? Thank you for coming out uh, to the challenge. That video will be up sometime. It's edited just uh, in, in queue. Um, after the fish and chips, uh, not that like it's a little little uh, little gre uh, little greasy. Um, love from Virginia, thank you so much. Um, long time no see. I've never been to Australia. Um, no, you can chug ketchup. Uh, Mammoth Cave is spectacular. I wanted, like I said, I went there. But unfortunately, I was not able to go. They were sold out a week in advance. Um, yeah, Cleveland, Ohio. Like I said, I'll be back in Cleveland for sure. Um, challenges are the easiest. What are the hardest? Um, anything that... There you go. Sorry, guys. Um, anything which doesn't require... Uh, chewing is the... Uh, is the easiest and the hardest is things that require um, uh, the hardest thing is things that require a lot of chewing such as um, uh, uh, what do you call it sorry guys I've been getting messages um, one second if I I don't know if I want mess with this um hopefully i'm back there we go um so yeah some like steaks are pretty tough anything that's like really kind of chewy um like that i always get the best stuff this it's just a matter of fact so this place is just popping off the charts it's seriously such a popular place Normally in the evenings, there's a lineup out the door hours, like waiting hours and hours for tables on the weekend. So I was up. Boone's Cavern. Uh, we went to some caverns in West Virginia, um, but I never heard of Boone's Cavern. Lucky enough to be able to come here during the weekend, a little bit slower period, get a table, and essentially we're gonna... I do not play Call of Duty, but I used to play, I used to play Modern Warfare. Do a menu challenge. So basically, I'm just... Chimichanga or Quesadilla. <laughs> Can I opt out of either? Uh, if I had to choose, I would choose, um, uh, I, I honestly, quesadillas and chimichangas, I would probably do rather do a normal burrito or tacos, um, 
But yeah, if I had to choose between the two, probably a chimichanga, just because I find quesadillas have a lot of cheese on them. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, well, so I played Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. The last game system I had was an Xbox 360. I'm just gonna go in and say, hey. Just to kind of give you the like time we're talking about, I was in high school. Hey, this is my first time here, I wanna taste. I haven't played video games since then. The best of the best, what do you have to offer? And uh, let's see what they give me. So we'll go on in, we'll have a lot of fun, we'll have a great spread of. Somebody asked what my workouts are like. Uh, Dumpling restaurants in Houston, Texas. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Everyone's here with all the food. It looks absolutely amazing. Pretty, like, standard, I would say. How long does it take me to recover from a um, food challenge? It really depends uh, on the food challenge. Um, some things sit better uh, than others. Like, something like pancakes are always, always, always the worst. Um, absolutely the worst. Because... Um, they're just so much carbohydrates, so it's so sweet. Do I do fasting? No, not really. Um, my family think of my videos. Um, so my mother at first was quite apprehensive of everything, but- Everyone's um, here with all the food, it looks absolutely amazing. We have so many- Since she has really come around to it and she does watch them and, and my family's very supportive of it all, which is really awesome. Um, different items in front of us here um so we have a uh, walnut shrimp or here actually i'll walk you through it so this is what we got we got the complete order all right there but it is a uh we got the uh, shaolin bao which is a pork soup dumpling that's what they're very very famous for they can make the walnut shrimp looks sometimes it's hard to mix the audio especially like i'm trying to do it right now but i think one down is good. Different items in front of us here. Um, so we have a uh, walnut shrimp, or here actually, I'll walk you through it. So this is what we got. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, Chinese or Italian food? Ooh, what, what, now what do you mean? Because there's like, like what I'll call like, mm, like Chinese is, that's a big whatever. Like, you know, there is uh, like, what I would call more like legit Chinese. And then there's like kind of Americanized Chinese food, same as Italian, like, you know, there's very basic like pasta or like basic pizza, but then there's like really good, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll take either or if it's really good. I don't mean to cop out of the, 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 to answer that question, but that's kind of it. If it's good, if it's good, it's good, you know, that's basically it. How long does it take me to edit a video? Uh, I got a plate, I got a napkin, so let's uh, let's just kind of dive in and do some chopsticks. But it really depends. Um, always in the hours, though. Definitely always in the hours. Um, I'd say the the shortest edit probably an hour and a half, two hours. The longest, man. There's been videos I have spent. I think the one, one video, the longest. I literally think I spent maybe like eight hours on it, which is insane. Um, uh, yes, I definitely have plans for a career after this. Um, let's see. Greek food challenge. I actually have one. I have a big, um, Euro or gyro Greek food challenge, uh, which I did on my trip and that'll be coming up. Probably, again, I'd say December. Um, plan a meet and greet. Yeah, totally. I'd love to do a meet and greet. Um, I've done, uh, like, I always obviously post my events um, public. And then since, uh, and once or twice before I have kind of done what was not a challenge, more just like a meet and greet, um, which, uh, which is where I met a really good friend, uh, Jordan, in uh, LA, in Los Angeles when I did a little bit of a meet and greet back then. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, I would love to do some more meet and greets and obviously just meet all of you all, uh, whether it be at a challenge, meet and greet, all the above. Uh, does drinking water help with your eating? I mean, it helps you swallow food. Uh, Mr. Beast, that'd be a lot of fun. Maryland or Delaware soon? I was in both in October. Um, so probably a little while before I get back again. Um, well guys, we've been streaming for a long time. We're at 100 minutes, basically. 
travel the world and make money like Mark Weins. I would love to. He's a really cool guy. Um, I, uh, I obviously, I, I'm admittingly, I haven't met him, but he is. He seems like a really cool guy. Man, I tell you, Aaron, that that person has a lot of accounts, eh? Um, favorite to eat, do a challenge with? Oof, that's a hard one. Um, I've got to eat with a lot of great eaters. They're all really fun. Hmm, that's a tough one. I, I so like green beans are generally green beans, but this I don't think I could pick one. Let's hear this real quick. So like green beans are generally green beans, but this is damn good green beans. I'm very impressed. There's definitely a bit of a salt job on it. That's good. Um, yes, I do merch. You can check out joelites.com, cop yourself some awesome merch, and check out links in the description below. Come back to Chicago suburbs. I would love to. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to give you um, a couple more minutes of my time here. Um, and then fitness and exercise videos. I know I've had a couple people ask me kind of like, like a day of the life video. You guys kind of got to see a bit of my day in the life right now. Um, but yeah, you guys have asked for that. I'll do I'll do another like full day eating day in the life kind of something video um, here sooner than later. Um, Travis, woo, thank you so much. Appreciate that, my friend. Um, but yes, I will um, get off here in just a moment. Favorite book? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I haven't done as much reading as I'd like to, but uh, whew. um. The last like leisure book I even half read was um, the what was it the biography or autobiography of the gentleman Anthony Kiedis or whatever from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, but um, I don't know the, the other like the last kind of audio book I listened to which I honestly didn't even finish was The Power of Now, uh, Eckhart Tolle. Um, thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. Um, and thank you, Miss All Aboard, our Miami friend. Um, favorite movie? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have one. Um, yes, I did a food challenge in Maryland in, um, uh, what was it called? It was like Baltimore area. Uh, Baltimore area? I'm second guessing myself now. Travis, again, thank you so much. What do you like as your favorite food prep or just eating? Um, what do you mean by that, my friend? Favorite food prep or just eating? Uh, come to Indianapolis, definitely hope to. Um, like, do you mean just food? My favorite food is a our animals for sure. Followed by fruits and vegetables, specifically tropical fruits. I am probably in the gym about six days a week. Um, I eat a lot of carrots. So like green beans are generally green beans, but this is damn good green beans. And hear me in green beans in this video. Am I gassy after food? It depends on the food. Some things can make you really gassy, some things not. Oh, do I prep for a food event? Um, not really anymore, to be honest. I used to, um, but I haven't in quite a while. Um, let's see, I'll give you guys, let's say a minute and a half left. So we'll go to 105. Um, tuna could probably make me gassy. Um, things like cabbage can make you a bit gassy. Um, dogs or cats, definitely, um, uh, dogs. Mississippi, uh, I'd love to come back to Mississippi. It was a lot of fun. Um, I liked it when I was there. Uh, you know, I, I really, I, I gotta, I gotta stop in Bilux, Biloxi very briefly, which is cool. I gotta see that, which was nice. Um, but I only really spent a little bit of time in around Jackson, but it was really fun. Uh, Travis, woo, thank you so much, man. All time go-to food and why? Um, Texas style barbecue or barbecue, it's my favorite food. I love smokiness, I love, again, meats. Um, so yeah, but when, I, when you say like, like, if someone was gonna be like, what kind of food do you want? Like any food, I would pick, um, yeah, shout out the veterans, absolutely guys, thank you for your service. Uh, if anyone's like, pick a food, any kind of food, it would definitely be like, I'd say Texas style barbecue. Um, and if like that wasn't available, I like beef, I like burgers, I like steaks. Um, yeah. Cocoa butter or shea butter, I'm not sure. 
Dean, Cleveland. Yes, Dean. I definitely hope to get back to Cleveland. Um, again, don't have any necessarily plans right now, but I'll definitely whatever. Uh, what makes catfish different from other fish? So, great question. Um, I describe it in two ways. So, catfish is the only fish that I've ever had which has like a corn kind of meal batter on it. So, it's not a, I'm going to call it solid flour based batter. It's a cornmeal batter. So, it's almost just like a coating on it. And then it also is a slightly sweet, slightly oily fish, which that, I mean, you could find in other types of fish, but um, yeah. And then we, you want to just eat it with ketchup and hot sauce. Woo, woo, wee. Louisiana style hot sauce and ketchup. Amazing. All right, everybody. Um, that is the time I said I would give. Um, any last words, everybody? Really appreciate, again, all you turning on in. Um, come to the Carolinas. I was just in South Carolina at the beginning of October. Do you drink alcohol? No, I don't. Um, burger how, What Do you think Burger Challenge are the most challenge you've done in your career? Yes. Um, uh, yes. Hi, yes. And thank you again to all the veterans. Uh, Remembrance Day in Canada, Veterans Day in the United States. Appreciate all of y'all. Thank you for your service. Uh, thank you for having a, a, a country, a world, um, you know, at least most of the world, which is quite free. Let's hope we stays that way, guys. Jeremy, thank you so much. Shout out Melissa Dawson. Thank you so much, Jeremy and Melissa Dawson. You guys rock. Much love to both of you. Much love to everybody on here. I appreciate you. Um, can stay here if I come to Phoenix. Thank you so much, my friend. Literally everybody um, who wants to help out with any trips, please send me a message on Instagram, an email, or uh, you can message me on Facebook, but probably right now because, again, I am currently blocked from posting on Facebook, um, hopefully to resolve that soon. Uh, Instagram and or um, email would be great. Um, Worst Pizza Challenge, the video that is literally has like the – uh, hardest pizza challenge video just came out. Worst food, uh, pff, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of liver. I'm not a big fan of cheese, but cheese I eat quite a bit. And sometimes it can be good. I'll give it that. Um, worst fear, uh, intravenous needles. Um, how often do I work out? Yes, I work out uh, probably like six days a week. Um, rapid fire question. Um, do I throw up after challenges? There's been a couple times where I can't help it, but otherwise I try not to. I don't think anybody enjoys getting sick. Um, and that was like, you know, eating raw chicken wings, raw burgers, uh, like horrible stuff. Um, Mississippi, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Do antacids help if you have heartburn? Yes. Um, but that's about it, guys. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all for tuning on in. And at that, guys, of course, the next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. I love you guys. You guys rock. Appreciate you. And uh, at that, till next time. Oh, I see we're getting some more comments. Anyway, guys, appreciate you. Thank you again. I love you all. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely night. Thank you for tuning into this live stream. Um, let me know if you would like to see more because I can make it happen, guys. But, uh, yeah, it's been a long time since we did a live stream. This one is almost two hours long, so it was a serious, serious, serious live stream. But uh, at that, guys, till next time. If I can – here we go. Until next time, have a lovely day.